Hi everyone, FM Greeno here and welcome back to some more Euro Truck Simulator 2. So today we're going to close out a Thrustmaster steering wheel event, but before we get into that, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Yep, that's right, we've got a new driver in. Patricia has joined our team in Gdansk, as you can see here. She already has some decent long distance, that's why I hired her, but I am training her on that a little bit more. I think that's always the key thing to get under your belt first, and then we'll put her on a balance thing and see what else she picks up. We've got her a nice green truck, obviously, there it is. Mercedes-Benz Actros Stream Space, which isn't a bad looking little truck. So uh, yeah, hopefully she's going to get out and earn us a few quid. All the other drivers are doing all right. Um, Simona not making the most money in the world sat in leipzig it has to be said so we might have to have a little chat with her at some point and everyone else john d our uh fabulous lech valenza look-alike there he is he is earning pretty well out of gdansk already sophie's doing very well even Jana and the two boys we had originally are doing pretty good so Overall, I'm pretty happy. Simona is a bit of a worry, though. So hopefully she's going to uh, pick up a few more different skills and actually uh, yeah, get some decent money coming in. Otherwise, she might be for the chop, it has to be said. Anyhow, we've got this last job to do for the Thrustmaster event, as I said. Let's go and see where we're heading. As you can see, I have made my way back into the Baltics. Picked up most of the jobs around Poland for this... Uh, little event but then did manage to find one that took me up to Vilnius there weren't any jobs from there so I've moved a little bit further north to Utena here uh, which is pretty close to the border here with Latvia and it looks like there's a job here from Daugavpils in Latvia going up past Riga and into Liepaja so uh, I think that's the job we're going to take there are some which go a little bit further afield but I say I want to focus on some of this Baltic region, getting into Russia, finishing off some more of Finland, etc. So I think this shorter job probably suits us better for this occasion. We're doing okay in picking up the towns in and around this region. Uh, we've got 10 out of the 35 so far. Uh, I think Daugav Pils will be the 11th. So, yeah, making progress with that uh, little challenge too. Anyway, I'm going to get off, get this job hooked up, and get on the road. So I'm just leaving this town, Utena, right now. As you can see, it's a little way for us to go and pick this load up. It's pretty unusual for two cities that far apart to have their jobs come up together on the external contracts. But obviously, I guess there aren't too many jobs out of Utena, so they have to pair it together with something. Uh, it's around 6am, so we've got a couple of hours drive up there. That'll get us there for about 8. I think, if I remember rightly, it said that job... Um, across to Liepaja was about a six hour, seven hour drive. So we are going to have to sleep at some point on that drive. We've got about six or seven hours in the in the tank right now. Goodness me, this is a bit of a nightmare. Let's pull out seeing as that one's going. So I think we'll try and do as much of the drive here in daytime as we can. Leave it to the last minute as usual to try and get some sleep so that we only end up putting the, uh, the very last hour or two uh, into the dark hours. Anyway, I'm going to mooch along, see if we can make decent progress to pick up this uh, this load. Minding out for this police car. I'll catch up when I've got it on board. So, here we are, having just picked up the load. Oh, look out, there's a tram crossing the street. <laughs> we better not crash into one of them. I had an incident with one of them in uh, somewhere in Italy, I think it was, if I remember rightly. Might be in Sicily, where one just side-swiped me, so... <laughs> yeah, got to keep an eye out for them. Let's make sure there isn't another one coming. Uh, we, we appear to be good. So, it's, what, 8am here on a Saturday morning in Daugavpils. Uh, we've only got five hours... Well, just under five hours in the sleep meter and about just over six and a half hours of the drive so 
like I said before, we are definitely going to have to make a stop somewhere along the line. Uh, somewhere outside Riga, maybe, or that, that part of the world. Um, I'm pretty excited to have finished up this event. It's been quite nice. What have we got here on the left-hand side? Some kind of war memorial or something? Looks like. Nice. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty cool little event, picking up these little jobs around and fitting in some other small little jobs when there wasn't a, uh, a Thrustmaster job going in the right direction. So I've just been doing loads of these little three to four hour jobs and I've managed to pick up enough now that this will complete the event so I don't think we get too much of a reward for doing it I think there are a couple of little things they put into the store you can uh, I think you can go and get a little thrust master steering wheel to stick on the dashboard that kind of thing so we'll have a little look at that after after we complete it but for now yeah we just need to get out on the road and put some of these miles in So, we're a little over an hour into the drive, we're out into the uh, the Latvian countryside here, and it started to rain, unfortunately. Now, it's not a heavy storm with all the fog and everything like it can be sometimes. Fairly bright skies ahead. Um, so, I'm hoping that this little shower dissipates pretty quickly. Otherwise, I'm tempted. I might try and take that sleep a little bit earlier and see if we can catch a couple of daylight hours at the end there. Oh, God. <laughs> that noise always fills me with dread. It means there's a train crossing somewhere. <laughs> and I don't always spot them. Yeah, so that's the plan. If uh, the rain doesn't abate, we'll uh, we'll take the next rest stop. Get the sleep in a little bit earlier. And see if, uh, see if it brightens up for the end of the journey. For now, keep on trucking. So, we did manage to find a rest stop. It was a couple of hours up the road, though. So, uh, we've now had a sleep. It's 8pm. Still daylight here, though. Uh, and the rain has stopped. So, hopefully, it'll be a little bit more of a, a pleasant drive over the next couple of hours before it gets dark. Are they stopping to let me out? No. I thought they would. Sometimes they do, don't they? What's going on here? Can't decide whether to let me out or not, can they? Well, this one's going to. And it means we're behind a police car now, so that's fine. They can shoot off ahead of us. No chance of us picking up a speeding fine from them. I don't think we're going to be able to keep up with them, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, Lavi has been pretty unremarkable, I suppose, driving across it. Um, the only thing sort of worthy of note has been some of the buildings around so there must be a sp sort of specific style of, of buildings here because they're a little bit different to whatever else I've seen in the game the farm buildings that sort of thing the churches when you come across them um, but other than that it's kind of flat farmland few trees around nothing to write home about it has to be said Keep right, and then anyway we must be pretty close to Riga now I'd have thought so we, I guess we're just going to skirt around the outskirts of it uh, no need to go through the city centre, I wouldn't have thought. And we head out towards the coast. So we're now around 9.15. As you can see, the sun is starting to set. But I still think we've got about an hour of half-decent daylight ahead of us. Um, you might notice the, uh, the amount of euros we've got ticking up pretty much every time I speak to you. So we've got a reasonable... Um, fleet of drivers now who all seem to be chucking a few quid into the pot with uh, increasing regularity so I think it was only two or three drives ago and you know bearing in mind I'm only doing very short drives that I bought that last truck which I put into Gdansk now I think I've still got one space left in Leipzig um, so it's I mean who knows, with another two and a half hours of this drive to go, who knows if anyone else is going to chuck some money in, and we might even be able to buy another truck at the end of this episode. If not, it will be next episode. Uh, then I need to think about what my next move is. Do I 
buy another base with three slots in it? Or do I think about expanding one of the ones that I've got already now? The, I think the Gdansk one, out of the ones I have so far, is by some margin the most profitable. So if I was going to expand any, that would be the first one. But there are loads of other places where I think it would be good to have a base. So I've got to have a little think about what is the best way forward there. To get a new base or to expand the Gdansk base. So uh, yeah, if any of you got any thoughts on that, drop them into the comments section below. I'd like to know uh, your experiences or, or just, uh, just your thoughts on the subject. For now, as I say, it's getting dark. We're nearly at 10pm now. Couple of hours more of the drive to go. Keep plugging away. Okay, so we're pretty close to the destination now. Uh, you see, it's just coming up to midnight. So we're not going to get to see much of the place, but it is what it is. Um, so, what comes next at now that we're going to complete the event? Well, I think probably the best thing to do is to spend a bit more time up in this Baltic region. Uh, there's a lot more of Finland for us to see, for sure. We haven't crossed the border over into mainland Russia yet. So I'd like to get over to St. Petersburg, for sure. So I think that's going to be the focus of the next couple of episodes. Obviously, we've, I think we've picked up 11 of the 35 cities in this region now. So a lot more to explore. I think, uh, yeah, it'd be an interesting goal to get around a few more of those places. For now, we've got to get this little load dropped off. It looks like we're going pretty much into the ferry port. So whether someone else is going to pick these up and take them across into Finland or something, I don't know. But it be interesting to see if we can find a, uh, a parking job here, which isn't too horrible. And we can have a go at. I've not actually tried to do any parking in the dark yet. So that would be a whole new challenge. Not quite sure how well you can see in some of these yards. But let's take a little look as we pull into here. So where is the entrance? Just there, right, okay. So it looks a pretty tight little yard, that's for sure. Here we are. Safe and sound. Right, and let's see what they've got for us. So, oh, it's only a 40 XP one. Right. Let's give it a go. Just there. So there is a trailer next to it. So that's going to be a little obstacle for us to deal with. But I'm pretty sure if we can just get over here. Get relatively straight. And then just kind of back it up all the way. That should be about right. So, not that way. Come around this way. There we go. I don't want the cab to get too out of line with the trailer, which is always the risk when you're doing these parking jobs. I can't really see where I'm going, which is a bit of a problem. So let's try and pull it forward again a little bit so that I can actually see somewhere the lines where I'm supposed to be parking it. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going in exactly straight. But maybe. Have I bumped into something here? Maybe. So let's try again without hitting anything.
I'm going to get in the fence here, aren't I? Or a bin or something. Oh, now I've crashed into the other truck. <laughs> this is not exactly going smoothly, is it? Right, let's try again. It looks like we're getting somewhere. That's looking pretty neat to me. Is it going to give it to us? Are we close enough? Yes. Yes, we are. Thank goodness for that. Okay, so another parking job completed. It took a while and it wasn't the neatest, but I will take it. Is it going to get us over level 25? It is. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see what we can add here. So, what's the benefit of just-in-time delivery? Just slightly higher rewards for important deliveries. Fragile cargo, we're pretty much maxed up on. So let's do a little bit of just-in-time delivery. There we go. Right, so that completes that event. As you can see here at the top of the screen, the steering wheel rollout, 5 out of 5. Personal goal completed. So that's cool. So I wonder if I can go and uh, buy that little upgrade. The, the Thrustmaster steering wheel to go on the dashboard. Let me go and take a look. Well, I can't find it. <laughs> it did mention maybe there was just a steam inventory item. So maybe it's not something you can actually put in the cab. It's just something you've got just to, to notify you that you've had the achievement. Sat in your steam page. So... There we are. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I think this little series of, uh, of the steering wheel rollout things have been pretty cool to do. And now it's time to explore more of the Baltic regions. But if you did enjoy it, please drop a like on there for me. Of course, it helps me get seen by more people. And if you've got any comments about today's episode, series as a whole, or any thoughts on that garage conundrum, let me know in the comments section below. And of course, don't forget, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, Click on that little button, ding your bell for notifications, and come and hop on the Greeno bus. There's plenty of room for you all. It just remains for me to thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Some more action up here in the Baltics with Euro Truck Simulator 2. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.